Good morning, everyone. Good morning and welcome to the first meeting of the New York City Council Committee on Rules, Privileges, and Elections. I'm Council Member Rory Lantzman and I will be chairing this committee hearing. Before we begin, I would like to introduce the other members of the committee uh, joining us today. We are honored to be joined by Speaker Corey Johnson, who is a member of this committee. And if I'm not mistaken, that would make me the first person at a committee hearing to uh, formally welcome the speaker Corey Johnson in attendance. The other members of the Committee on Rules, Privileges, and Elections are Minority Leader Stephen Matteo from Staten Island, Adrian Adams from Queens, Margaret Chin from Manhattan, Robert Carnegie from Brooklyn, Rafael Espinal from Brooklyn, Vanessa Gibson from the Bronx, Karen Kosowitz from Queens, Richie Torres from the Bronx, and Mark Traeger from Brooklyn. I don't think there are any other members who are not uh, on the committee with us today. Um, I'd also like to acknowledge the Rules Committee Council, Elizabeth Guzman, whose work in producing the reports that we're going to be uh, voting on today has been uh, indispensable. T today the committee is considering proposed amendments to the rules of the council regarding officers, committee chairs, and members, and proposed appointments to the committees and subcommittees of the Council of the City of New York. Resolution number one designates the titles and describes the extent, the extant, extant and amended committees and subcommittees. The resolution recommends that such committees and subcommittees bear the titles and descriptions as set forth in the papers before you. The committee will also commit, consider amendments to ex officio officers and the scheduling of future committee meetings. These amendments are also set forth in resolution one. In addition, the committee will consider approving committee chair appointments and membership assignments, designated officers of the council, and the creation of new committees and subcommittees. These proposed committee changes are set forth as presented in the papers before you as well. I would like to say thank you to the leadership of the speaker and his team in putting together these amendments, appointments, and assignments, and thank you to the office of the general counsel and legislative division attorneys and staff. Um, we now uh, invite comments from members of the committee, uh, and uh, of course, we are happy to start with our speaker, Speaker Corey Johnson. Uh, thank you, Chair Lanceman, uh, temporary though as it may be. Uh, I'm thrilled to be here today at our first official council hearing of the new year as we convene to discuss the leadership <clears throat> of this body. Over the last week, I have been honored to meet with each and every one of my colleagues to discuss their vision for this council over the next four years. As we spoke, as we have many, many times before in the last months, to say nothing of the last four years, about how to most effectively harness the authority of the city council to best serve New Yorkers, one thing became abundantly clear. Our members are strong, our members are diverse, and our members are talented. And collectively, whether we grew up in public housing or raised by a single parent, or immigrated from another country, or left college early, our backgrounds reflect the myriad of experiences of the 8.2 million people who call New York City home. And though we may come from different walks of life, the common thread that binds us together is our deep, unwavering commitment to public service, to New Yorkers, and to our city. The committees, subcommittees, and task force positions we're voting on today will help us hone in on some of the most pressing issues facing our city today. From a new committee that will keep the plan to close Rikers Island on track, to our new subcommittee dedicated to our hospitals, to a task force dedicated to monitoring the progress of the proposed Brooklyn Queens connector. These leadership positions will help bolster this city, this city council's role 
as New York City's watchdog and will help us best hone in on legislation that will make this city more responsive to the critical needs of everyone who lives here and every neighborhood across all five boroughs. I'm inspired and excited to work with all my colleagues in their new roles, and I look forward to our continued work together to make New York City stronger and more effective uh, for all. I also want to say, hopefully, you know, I know the press is here, and I'm sure there are other council members that are in the room. I think when you look at this piece of paper with the committee assignments and with the chairs and with the task force, and uh, we're still going through leadership and the budget negotiating team, I have really worked hard to be as inclusive as possible to every single member. I've tried to be creative, I've tried to be strategic, I've tried to be thoughtful in identifying new areas that folks could work on, issues and committees that were not uh, created in the past, because as I said at the charter meeting, and as I said to my colleagues leading up to the charter meeting, uh, I want everyone to be able to do work here at City Hall that they're interested in and will impact the city and that will help their districts. And so not everyone, of course, got exactly what they wanted. But I was as flexible as humanly possible to try to make everyone happy and to be able to work on things that would interest them. I think you'll see that in this document. And you will see that when we talk about leadership and we talk about the budget negotiating team, and we talk about other opportunities. This is a council where every single member is going to be respected. Whether you supported me or not, you are going to be respected. If you look at this document, someone's going to kick me for saying this, but it's true, there was no vindictiveness. There wasn't. None. Zero. I tried to help as many people as possible. And I look forward to continuing to do that. We did this in a week, which was very hard to compile this in a week, and meeting with members, putting it all into a matrix, continuing to have conversations. Uh, this, may, this document may not be perfect. It may need to be adjusted at some point. I hope it doesn't have to be, but it may have to be, because I want to continue to respect every single member and to ensure that they can work on issues that matter to them and that are going to help their communities. Thank you very much, Chair Lanceman. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Are there any other members of the committee um, who would like to say something? Have some urgent need to say something? <laughs> no. You're stigmatizing speaking. <laughs> Look at that. Seeing no further comments, we will now take the roll call on the items being considered. We are coupling the vote on Resolution 1 regarding the committee and subcommittee designations, ex officio members and meetings together with the message addressing committee assignments. Let's call the roll. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on rules, privileges, and elections. I am Jacopo, chair, Lansman. Aye. Chin. Aye. Cornegie. Aye. Espinal. Aye. Gibson. I'd like to congratulate our speaker, Corey Johnson, and certainly uh, appreciate all of the effort that the staff undertook to come together with all of these uh, committees and committee assignments, and I vote aye on all. Kozlowitz. Torres. I probably vote aye. Traeger. Aye. Adams. I vote aye. Matteo. Speaker Johnson. I also want to thank Ramon Martinez. Ramon and I were here all weekend, Saturday and Sunday, from the early morning until late at night and the last few days. And I want to thank Ruthie from Legislative Documents for spending the whole weekend working with us as well. This was, a, we worked very, very hard on this over the last week. And Ramon did a tremendous amount of work and spoke to all 50 other members. And I really want to thank him for helping me in this first week on the job. Thank God he is staying. By vote of 11 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. Both items are adopted by the committee. 
With that, and with the ceremonial, ceremonial passing of the uh, gavel to Council Member Kozlowitz, the Committee on Rules, Privileges, and Elections is now adjourned.